الحمد لله الذي نصر عبدا وعز جندا والذي حزن هزم الاحزاب وحده والذي لا اله قبله ولا بعده We praise Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. We praise Him and we thank Him for His blessings upon us. And we remind ourselves with one of the greatest aspects of ibadah, which is fearing Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, having khawf for Him. Being of those who remember Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. And this is all from kalimat al-taqwa, speech of piety. As Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, وَأَلْزَمَهُمْ كَلِمَةُ التَّقْوَى And He had made it necessary upon them the speech of piety. And the believer, his state is that he is of those who increase in guidance. As Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, وَلَذِينَ اِحْتَدُوا وَلَذِينَ اِحْتَدُوا زَادُوا مُهُدًا وَأَتَاهُمْ تَقْوَاهُمْ And those who when they become guided, Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala increases them in guidance and He gives them their piety. And the reward of their piety. So the believer he is of those who fear Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala has commanded us that we fear him and clarify that it's from Iman. That is the shaytan. He is fearing you, putting fear in your hearts through his allies. So do not fear them, but rather fear Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Rather fear me, whereas Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says, rather fear me. In kuntum mu'mineen, if you are true believers of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And here Imam Sa'adi he mentioned that here is the obligation of fearing Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And likewise, that it is from Iman that you fear Him. And according to the Iman of a person, is the level of the fear of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. So the higher that the Iman is, the higher the level of his fear is. So Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, وَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ مَخْشَوْنِي Do not fear them, but rather fear Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, وَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ النَّاسَ And do not fear the people. But rather fear Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala alone. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala has mentioned in his Quran, the state of the believers, أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ وَيَبْتَغُونَ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ الْوَسِيلَةِ وَيَرْجُونَ رَحْمَتُهُ وَيَخَافُونَ عَذَابَهُ They are those who invoke their Lord. They supplicate to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And at the same time, they hope through tawassul, by getting closer to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala through good deeds, they're getting closer to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. وَيَرْجُونَ رَحْمَتَهُ And they hope His mercy. وَيَخَافُونَ عَذَابًا And they fear His punishment. As Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala has commanded that we fear Him. And we will be of those who realize that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is shadeed al-iqab. That is severe in His punishment and His torment. And if we are not of those who are not of the people that refrain from the house and sins due to fear of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, then who are we? Except that people will become of evil doers. And the virtues of fearing Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala are many. It's been authentically reported from the hadith that seven types of people who Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala will shade. On a day there's no shade except his shade. Yani that people will be in darkness and people also will be in a state of the severity of the sun. And you will be in shade due to you being of those who implement one of these seven characteristics. And from them, رَجُلٌ دَعَتُ إِمْرَأَةٌ ذَاتُ جَمَالٍ وَمَنْسِبٍ A man that uh, was called by a woman that had great status and beauty. So he replied to her and said, إِنِّي أَخَافُ اللَّهِ Very I fear Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And likewise, the person who remembers Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, فَفَاضَتْ عَيْنَا a man who remembers Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala alone, khaliyan. And he fears Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, so he becomes in a state where he is in a state of tremble. And he fears Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, for that reason his eyes goes into tears. So this type of person, he'll be in the shade when people, many people will be no shade, and the sun, in a state of severity, 
and harm, and he'll be in a state of relaxation and at ease and comfort. And the state of the believers is that they fear Allah Taala, especially when Allah Taala is mentioned. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرُوا اللَّهِ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلِيهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادُتُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ Very the believers is that when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is mentioned, they tremble in fear. وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ The hearts are a state to tremble for fear of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. As the believer is of those who fear Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in this life. That is, his actions going to be accepted, or are they going to be rejected? As uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions, "Inna kunna fi ahdina mushfiqin, faman Allah alayna wa qana adab al-samum. Inna kunna min qabli nadiru, inna hu hu al-baru rahim." That we are of those who used to be in a state of fear, fearing Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Faman Allah alayna. So Allah Taala favored us and bestowed His bounty upon us, and He prevented us from the painful tor- torment and the evil torment. Inna kunna min qablu nadiru, inna hu al baru rahim. We used to be of those who invoke Allah Taala. So we realize that Allah Taala will be good to you if you are those who are good and fear Him. So the state of the believer. That he's always remembering Allah Taala, and we know that the, the eye that goes into tears of due to the fear of Allah Taala, the hellfire will not touch it. The hellfire will not touch it. So we ask Allah Taala to benefit us with this reminder. And we ask Allah Taala to increase us and to uh, make us of those who fear Allah Taala. And we remember that the state of the believer is that he fears Allah Taala. And the prophets used to say to their people, "Inni akhafu alikum adabun yomun kabir." Verily, I fear upon you a severe or great punishment. And many of the prophets they used to say this to their people. So, and likewise, the malaika, Allah Taala describes the malaika with the fear of Allah Taala. We used to be who ride to be hamdi, wal malaika to min khifati. That the thunder. Praises Allah Taala, glorifies Allah Taala, and likewise the malaika out of fear for him, the angels, they praise Allah Taala and glorify him out of fear for him. يَخَافُونَ رَبَّهُمْ مِنْ فَوْقِهِمْ وَيَفْعَلُونَ مَا يُمْرُونَ That they fear Allah Taala from who Allah Taala is above them, while they do what they, they are commanded. So we ask Allah Taala to make us of those who fear Him, and now which is private, and now which is public, now which is secret, and now which is open. We know that it's upon us to fear Allah Taala and be of those who are truthful. And we know that if we're truthful to Allah Taala, He'll be truthful to us in His promise. And we ask Allah Taala to make us of those who remember Allah Taala and become in a state of tremble, of a fear for Him, and likewise those who hope for His reward, as we find in the Quran that Allah Subhanahu Taala mentions. The Jannah, like always mentioned, and not all of that, in hoping His mercy and fearing His torment, hoping, yani that which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has promised for those who are good doers, and fearing so why that which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has prepared for the wrongdoers. So we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to make us of those who are sincere and from the people of fear. And we ask Allah Taala wa Taala to not make us of those who claim to fear Allah Taala yet they are not of those people. As if least he claimed that he feared Allah Taala. He said, "Inni arama la turum, inni akhaf Allah." He said, "Verily I see what you do not see. Verily I fear Allah Taala." And also another, "Inni akhaf Allah, Rabb al Alami." He said, "I fear Allah Taala, the Lord of Mankind." But yet his fear was based upon mere claims. And allegations. For really, the fear that a person really fears Allah Taala, Taala, you will be of those who implement and benefit from such fear. As Allah Taala Taala says, "May Yatee Allah wa Rasoola wa Yaqsha Allah wa Yatee Faulaihi Hum Al-Faisun." Whosoever obeys Allah Taala Taala's messenger and fears Him and be of those who are people of piety, then they are the people who will be in a state of success and prosperity. So the believer, he realizes that upon him, 
to know why they fear Allah Taala. As Allah Taala is trying to praise those who know why they fear. When a person increases in knowledge, as they say, "Kull ma kana lillahi a'raf, kana lillahi akhwaf." The more that he fears, uh, the more knowledge that he has, the more state of fearing for Allah Taala will be in, in increase, and he'll be increasing in that. As Allah described, Allah described to people knowledge with such attributes and characteristics. Where do those who fear Allah Taala the most? Is the ulama, the people of knowledge. So we ask Allah Taala to make us of those who know why we fear Allah Taala, and likewise to be of those who remember Allah Taala and be of those who increase in His worship. And we ask Allah Taala to make this gathering a gathering of that which will be for us and not against us. And we ask Allah to make us sincere and for the people of here. Wallahu ta'ala, wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.